The word crisis should be used with care because there are parts of the country where we have too many houses for the number of people who want them. But basically, I think most people accept that the model, the housing model, uh, is broken. is that when people, people come together at a very early stage in the whole process, so they're participating, they're already forming a community before even a brick's been laid. And I think that's a, an amazing way uh, to create good communities. We need to have very flexible supply systems. We need increasing flexibility to deal with uncertainties as a result of climate change, but also uncertainties as a result of where growth's going to be happening. So we talk about Garden City principles. It's a social, community and economic model. It's not a particular form of architecture. Yes, the arts and crafts architecture in Letra is beautiful. It works very well and it certainly has its place. And that simple approach to design is absolutely relevant. The tree-lined corridors, I would advocate on any new master plan. But it is a social, community and economic model. Seeing that somewhere so close to home, just over the water in the Netherlands, especially from here in Norfolk, very close to home, um, has managed in so few years to transform delivery and make self build and custom house building a mainstream form of housing supply. It's also thinking about urban schemes in which, let's say, the um, coincidence of meeting one another is, is quite important. I was fortunate to go a year back to actually have a look at Almira and see the things that they're doing there. And I'll tell you what, it, it changes your mind completely to what we're doing here. But the realisation is we could do it. They are far ahead of the game than we are. And it's what, what does the word wisdom mean? Learning from other people's mistakes. So if we can learn from the mistakes that they've made, we can save all of that time and harness what they're producing out there which is absolutely fantastic. It's all about implementation. That's where we are now. We've set the policy framework and it's about working proactively with local authorities, with other stakeholders, including landowners, to make it work. As a society, it's, it's wrong. We have to create a, a housing model that provides enough housing for our people. And that means experimenting with new ways of doing it. And one of the first things to do if you're going to build in a new place is to say how do we make a, more of this existing place, how do we make it better, how do we make it more energy efficient, how do we make it more sustainable, but first of all, what does it look like as a place, what are the key characteristics? For this part, the whole of East Anglia, it's already a particularly high proportion of custom self-built per capita, but has the scope to deliver a great deal more because of the availability of land. That is the world that we could be tiptoeing towards. And I think it's about time we started doing more than tiptoeing because there is such a big problem to solve. We know we have a broken model. We know we have to do things differently.